everybody and welcome to another Watercolor Wednesday episode. Today we are painting this washed out background with some uh, detailed tree branches in the foreground, so let's just get right into it. Uh, as you just saw me do, you want to take your watercolor piece of paper and cover it with a thin layer of water using a mop brush, which I have linked in the description along with all of the other supplies that I use. And you're going to basically be creating a very um, imprecise and detail-free background. You just kind of want to give the illusion that there is a forest growing in the background, but it really doesn't have to be super detailed or precise. Uh, I'm using both black and green here, and I'm even adding another layer because that first layer just... Um, it looked a little bit too much like nothing, and you want it to sort of look like a forest. Uh, so just add as many layers as you need, making sure your paint dries completely in between layers. But I switched to a slightly thinner brush here to achieve the look that I was going for. I even added some random branches coming off of some of the tree trunks. But again, uh, you just want to create the illusion that there are a group of trees growing in the background there. So uh, on the bottom, you want to, I mean, you can make the trees go all the way to the bottom, but I just decided to uh, paint some horizontal lines just to make it look like there's some sort of a ground there, uh, but most of the focus in the painting is going to be kind of funneling towards the center of the painting, so just make sure to leave that part a little bit lighter or, you know, don't paint as many trees or maybe just paint them a little bit lighter uh, than the other trees on the sides. Once you are happy with your background, you want to make sure it's completely dry before you move on to this step. So I am mostly using my quadruple zero uh, Winsor & Newton brush here. I love this brush for detail work, so that's why I'm using it for these tree branches. Uh, what makes this painting really magnificent and beautiful, in my opinion, is the delicacy. Is that even a... can you use that word in in art or is that more of a food thing i don't know but um i really like that delicate look of the tree branches and i feel like you can achieve that uh thinness of a line using a thicker brush but it's just so much easier when you use a brush that's already tailored to that width uh, that you're going for I've also slowed down this video considerably compared to my other videos because I was getting a lot of comments uh, asking and requesting that I do so. Uh, so I hope that you like the pace of this video a little bit more. Please let me know if it's too slow or if there are, you know, repetitive things that you would prefer just be edited out or if you'd like the entire video to be included, uh, just let me know in the comments. But essentially you are going to be painting on a bunch of tree branches coming from all of the sides. So I decided to uh, basically paint one coming from the left side growing upwards and then I painted another one coming from the right corner growing downwards. But you just want to make sure that you provide sort of, sort of an even spread of your tree branches so that one side isn't sort of lopsided and, ha and that it doesn't have more branch than the other side. So I skipped forward a little bit here because I think you were getting the picture with uh, the <laughs> with all the tree branch dra uh, drawing or painting. Um, I wanted to create sort of a slightly different element here so I painted one more tree branch that was sort of sloping downwards into the painting uh, and going past the bottom portion of the painting. You can follow the pattern that I am using here or you can just paint uh, freehand and paint it on your own. I mean obviously you'll be painting freehand but what I mean is uh, you can paint your own design or you can even turn these branches into trees if you'd like and just have them coming from the bottom. It's completely up to you because it will uh, 
I guess, provide the same effect that we're going for. You can also take some acrylic paint watered down and flick some paint onto the surface of your painting to create a snowy background effect. And then you can also take that white acrylic paint and um, paint some snow onto your tree branches. So I mostly just painted snow onto the thicker parts and the more horizontal parts of my tree branches. If I tried to put snow on every single little twig and branch, uh, it would take a very long time and I feel like it wouldn't really look realistic because some of the branches are obviously vertical so snow would have a hard time binding to those. Anyways, that is everything for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.